Alright, here we go. Straight Shooter Coffee, the official coffee of Therapy Range. Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Therapy Range. Today we're going to do something... Hey, there's a chicken on my range. Crazy commie chicken. Today we're going to do something slightly different than what we normally do. Uh, we're going to talk a little bit. And we're going to shoot this gun. Because I shoot guns. It's what I do. I don't like to talk much on video. It doesn't enjoy me. I don't enjoy it as much as I do just shooting. So today, we're going to talk and we're going to shoot. But let's shoot first. Mmm. Glock 44 goodness. Glock's answer to the 22 caliber semi-automatic. Same shape design as the Glock 19. Hold on. I better go ahead and clear that 19 as well. We don't want to have no accidents. Glock 19. Glock 44. And these are essentially the same gun. Minus the internals are slightly obviously different. But the width, the thickness, uh, the weight of the guns is in fact a little different. But other than the weight, the manual of arms and uh, magazines, Glock 44 mag, Glock 19 mag, same size, just a different size caliber. All right, so there's been a lot going on with the FBI and the ATF over the last few months. And I wanted to just do a quick tip video and do some shooting, of course, on what to do if you are contacted or you are approached by the ATF, the FBI, basically any law enforcement personnel whatsoever over uh, any of the go fast triggers, bi or not binary, but forced resets, uh, the bump stocks, pistol braces, any of the items that the ATF is currently in the process of changing the rules on, if you are contacted by any of these governmental agencies about these products, shut the fuck up. Stop talking. Seriously. Seriously, if you get a knock on the door, if you get a call on the phone, um, you know, my advice is to just, I don't answer questions. I would like to have an attorney present during any type of questioning. If they say, well, we're not questioning you, we're, we're just asking questions. Well, that's questioning you because you can bet your sweet ass that they are going to use everything that you say in court against you. So, my advice is in that situation, whether it be a house visit or whether it be a phone call, is to keep your mouth shut, be polite, there's no reason to be a jerk about it, you know, uh, even though I'm not a fan of their job, the reality is, is that these cats that are showing up and making the calls are, in fact, uh, doing the job that they are paid to do. Whether we, they, whether we agree with what they're doing or not is irrelevant, that's their job and they're being paid to do it. I wish that they had enough uh, gumption about them to say I'm not going to do that, but sadly, they do not. Making freedom ring on therapy range. Nah, but uh, the best thing that you can do is if you don't have a lawyer already on retainer, which most of us don't because we don't have any reason to, but if you've purchased one of these products, if you've ha owned one of these products, you should probably get your mind wrapped around the fact that there may be somebody showing up at your house, knocking on your door, giving you a phone call, possibly even showing up at work uh, to interview you and talk to you about this and persuade you, try to persuade you to just relinquish your lawfully purchased items. I would strongly say, 
I would like to speak to an alert lawyer. I don't want to talk to you just on my own. I don't answer questions without my lawyer being present. And immediately get on the phone or the internet and find you a lawyer and get them on retainer because you're going to need them. That's just the truth out of it. Let's shoot this gun some more. Hey, did you know that Therapy Range has new merchandise? Go over and check out therapyrange.com. Our merch store is live. We just got t-shirts in. I even got some new sizes available, so yeah, go do that. God, I love shooting this gun. It's such a reliable, good functioning weapon. You know, and uh, you know, I, I had a, co a fella comment on one of my posts last night and was saying about how, uh, you know, I haven't had any cops showing up at my door, knocking on my door, asking for any of my guns yet. So, uh, you know, don't you see all the wins that we're getting in the Supreme Court or in the courts? Those are great wins. They are. I, I am aware. I've been watching the guns and gadgets and paying attention to what's going on in, in, in the country when it comes to the Second Amendment. And we absolutely are seeing some wins uh, on the side of the Second Amendment. You know, uh, some judges out there are, are finally getting it and understanding after the Supreme Court's decision on the Bruin case uh, that this is a fundamental right and they don't have the right to take it away from us. But you see like what's going on in California and New York, the states are kind of snubbing their nose up to the to the courts you know they're kind of saying yeah what are you going to do about it this is what we're going to do if you don't like it too bad sue us and they are getting sued and they're winning the cases but then they are doing end arounds on the the judgments and just creating new restrictions that that you know now these states are in this uh sort of sort of uh ceremonial dance of don't fuck us, we're going to fuck you. Don't fuck us, we're going to fuck you. Um, and the courts are actually taking the backs of the, of the American citizens, but they're also very regionalized and localized cases. You know, none of these cases, except for, with the exception of the Bruin case, really impacts on a national level. You know, we've seen a lot of district courts and we've seen a lot of county courts that have ruled in favor of the Second Amendment and freedom. But... What does that matter if, uh, if the governing bodies are going to just disregard what the court has to say? I don't know what that looks like. You know, we've never seen that in our country where the, the courts are just completely disregarded. Let's get a headshot. Oh, I missed. I missed again? All right. That was weird, but it is what it is. You get what you get and you don't throw a fit right here on therapy range. So let's get some more magazines loaded up and shoot some more. While I've got your attention, I would like for you guys to go and check out the affiliate links in the description. We just got offered a uh, an affiliate link from the website gun, uh, gundeals.com. And I'm going to provide you with an affiliate link in the description to where, uh, you know, they're actually paying me per click. So you don't have to buy anything to help the range out. You just have to click on the link and go browse uh, what they have available. And, you know, I mean, and if you purchase something, that's great. But ultimately, uh, to help therapy range out, I just need you to click on the link and go do some window shopping. You know, Christmas is just right around the corner. And uh, if you've got a gun lover in the house, I guarantee you there's going to be something over there on gun deals that will uh, tickle your fancy or tickle his fancy or even her fancy. You know, women are into guns now almost as much as men are. It's a really cool thing to see the ladies out here packing. If you're a pro Second Amendment woman and you're carrying, high five. High five. You deserve it. The only thing that I ask is that if you are, uh, and it doesn't matter whether you're a man or a woman, if you're going to carry a weapon, please get out and get some training.
Now, if you can't afford to go get training from one of the reputable schools that are all over the countryside, that's fine. Get somebody that you trust that you know that is, is more knowledgeable about guns than you are and go shoot with them. And get used to being able to manipulate these weapons. Learn to come over the top versus using the slide release. Learn how to get magazines out and back in, how to clear stovepipes. You know, like that finger. Watch my finger when I'm shooting. Notice how my finger doesn't come off the trigger. By keeping the finger on the trigger like that, you don't have to reclaim the draw, the drag, of the trigger anymore. You know, on your first shot, you've got to bring the slack back till you hit the wall and then break the, break the action. And then most people will slap all the way back out. They'll actually, their finger will come all the way off the trigger. And then you've got to bring that, that dead space back in again until you hit the wall. If you just stay on the trigger, you, you, you bring it back to where it breaks, and then when you come back forward, you, you release, you release, you, and then when you hear it click, that's the reset, and then you just pop it again. It eliminates all that extra travel time. So here, let me show you the wrong way. Average shooter squeezes, bang. They let off of it. They come back in, squeeze, bang. They let off of it. Come back in, squeeze, bang. They let off of it. The right way to do it, bring it back till it breaks, release until it resets. You stop right there, come right back to the break. And I'll show you what that looks like. Right huh. All right, so we'll pick our target, finger off the trigger. Let me get that hand out of the way. Maybe you can see a little bit better. All right, I've got the trigger still in the rear position. I'm going to let it come forward. It reset. I sure, I'm sure hopefully you can hear that. Let it come forward. Reset. 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 All right, that was fun. Let's throw a few more rounds in it and uh, I'll show you how not to do it. You know, and keeping your finger on that trigger, not only does it eliminate the, the draw time to get back to the break of the trigger, it's also gonna help improve your aim over time. As you learn to, to manipulate the trigger correctly, you're gonna, you're, you're gonna eliminate the jerks and pushes that you tend to get by letting your finger come all the way off the trigger, when you come back on that trigger, it tends to tends to push you just a little bit. A, a, a millimeter at the muzzle is an inch at the target. An inch at the muzzle is a foot at the target. So, I mean, these are things to keep in mind while you're checking out the affiliate links. All right, so this would be the uh, not way to do it. Oh, we had a malfunction. And no, I didn't hit no steel. I wasn't aiming at steel. I was just trying to pull the trigger. So you could get an idea of what I'm talking about. We'll put a couple more in here and I'll do it the right way again. And I guess it really doesn't boil down to right or wrong. It's just you, how you do it. I mean, if you get used to doing it the wrong way, if you train the wrong way long enough, you'll get good at doing it the wrong way. But let's try to stay focused on doing things the right way. All right, I'm going to let off of it. Reset. 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 Smooth. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. All right, guys, I think that is uh, all I've got to talk about today. Be sure to check out the gun deals link. Apex Triggers has hooked us up. I've got a, a new trigger going into my SV9. SWV9, whatever the fuck it is, I don't know. <clears throat> but
but be sure to go check out straight shooter coffee and all the other guys hit the like and subscribe and all that other youtube mumbo jumbo but above all else live your life to the fullest because anything less is an injustice to yourself and every single person around you and you know what else you can pick one of these up at gundeals.com need replacement magazines gundeals.com need ear pro gundeals.com there'll be a link in the description remember every time you click on that that's throwing a couple pennies back at therapy range stay free america we're going to talk again real soon i've got ideas stacking up but i just haven't got all the pieces together for each one to be able to put the videos together yet be patient we're going to do this but we can only do this together yeah together it's time to shut up and shoot Hi, here we go.